guys, I want to do another little video here of uh, unboxing a new horn. I come in today and this was sitting on the doorstep, so I've been anticipating the arrival of this horn. Uh, it's a K5H. It's, um, I'm assuming it may be a parts horn, but all the bells are matching. You know, it's a early 90s bells. It's got a new manifold, I know, but the cool thing is uh, one through four has been machined with uh, removable shims uh, for tuning, you know, so I'm assuming that you could possibly make it into uh, a K5H LA or a K5H, but the, what the cool thing is, from the way I'm understanding it, the number four bell will actually play a B chord, so it should be interesting to hear, and the good thing else about this horn, the number five bell is a big boy horn. So, with that being said, uh, we'll start unboxing this thing and see what we got. I do apologize. I've got some horns in the background and some stuff. I didn't take the time to clean clean anything up for the video. I just kind of got grabbed my tripod and just went with it. Sometimes that's the, the best way. Now, I've got quite a few horns in my collection, but uh, this would be the only H horn I have. I had at one point in time uh, a K5H LA. Uh, I bought it from a good friend. Y'all know him. I'm not going to have to mention his name, but uh, I had it for quite some time, and then I ended up selling it back to him, which I regret. And he's made quite a few videos on the horn, and... Uh, if y'all are on the Facebook page and watch the horn page or YouTube, you'll know him. But uh, I regretted selling that horn ever since. But at the same time, I've always wanted a K5H. So when this horn come available, I jumped to the gun to get this horn. So that being said, I'm very excited to have a K5H horn in my collection. I've got quite a few K5s, you know, some LLAs, Amtrak horns, a few big 80s big boy horns, you know, but I don't know. It's something about a H manifold. I just think they look really good. This guy went through the ringer to package these things up. That's good. bells are, are really nice and after I get through the video I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do the paint scheme I'm not much on painting horns my buddy Dylan he's the man he does such an amazing job on painting horns so I think I'm finally going to jump into the whole painting scheme and actually try to paint one I'm more like the original railroad paint, but since this one's bare and I already have a few more bare horns, I'm going to go ahead and paint. And one thing I want to add with this, this is the Big Boar number five, which you can tell it's a Big Boar number five. But what the cool thing is, and I've never seen it done before, somebody really put the money into this horn. On the side of the bell, it's actually stamped of what note it plays. Now I think that it's really cool. I'm not going to remove the back caps on this video. I'll do another video of when it's together of the removable shims. Right now I'm more concerned with getting it unboxed and you know finishing this video up. So I plan on making a few videos of this horn. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty special horn. Because it being the way it's been done to be tunable, the possibilities of making a couple different horns, you know, I mean, it's... And, you know, I didn't think I'd be one to be removing the back caps and changing this and changing that, but... I think it's pretty neat that they've went through such an extensive 
time and money and labor to change each one of these to be able to tune it. There's the number three bell. And the thing of it is, it's what amazes me from the flare down to the numbers. They have done a, I don't know if somebody's polished that or what, but it's, they've put a lot of work and time into it. And I can see down in there. I don't know if I can see where it's been bored. It's kind of hard to see. That's the three. New stainless steel bolts, O-rings, which that's, that's cool. I'll be replacing the O-rings and new ones, new ones anyways. I don't I usually don't try to use the same ones. Okay, here's the one that I thought was interesting. The four bell. It's stamped with a B. This is the one that I understand will play a B chord. This is a newer manifold. It looks like it's been sandblasted. You know, the threads need to be cleaned up a little bit, but overall, it's a manifold. Nothing different, nothing fancy. Number two, a little dusty, little cobwebs in there, but overall, it's, oh, there's a little ding. Won't affect it none. What amazes me is how these things are so shined up and look so good. Number one. All right. Now that being said, the next thing is I'm trying to figure out on the paint scheme. So maybe one of y'all can comment or give me your input of how you think it should look because I'm not much on painting horns, so this is uh, just like a clean canvas. I'm gonna start with something, make something original, honestly. Uh, what I thought about, since it's polished from here back, I mean, leave this part chrome, paint the back, but that'd be a lot of taping off, a lot of work. What I thought about, 
is doing red, do the whole thing in red, except the back caps, do the back caps in black, red all the way down, and then leave this polished on the inside. Or I could do the whole thing red on the inside. I've not really made up my mind of how I want to do it. I want to leave the manifold bare. I mean, some people might say, oh, that won't look as good. And I might not even do it this way. I might do it all one color. Now, that's it's still up in the air. But I thought about red bells with a bare manifold and black back caps. Now, it might look good. It might not. So I'm just trying to figure out on which way to go with the painting on it. First off, I'm going to put it together and see how it sounds. I mean, I didn't wait all this time for it not to hear how it sounds. So, if you would, please leave me a few comments down in the comment section on what you think, what you think would look good, or, you know, I like other people's opinions. So, and nothing else, if you've uh, not already subscribed, hit, the, hit that bell down there. I'd really appreciate it. And like this video. I uh, appreciate you all watching and taking the time out of your day. And uh, like I said, hope to hear from you soon. Hey guys, just done another little update video to my K5H once I got everything taken apart and, you know, was looking inside of it and just kind of give you a little glimpse of everything, diaphragms, cushion rings, it's brand shiny new. And the cool thing, I got the back caps off and was looking inside the bells, and it'd be cleaned up a little bit. But here's what I was talking about the removable shims. And I thought it was just one through four, but even the big board number five has shims now it says on the side d sharp now i have no idea what in the world that would play with these shims taken out just like the number four bell that's supposed to play a b chord i started to take one of my other four a's off just to see the depth and see in comparison but i'm not going to go that far right now i just like i said i just want to do another little update of all the removable shims because i just thought that was really cool i will try to, when i edit my first video i'll see about tagging this one on the back side so we can have it all together so I guess that's it for now. I've got to get ready to go to bed. So I will start the painstakingly process of uh, cleaning it tomorrow. Going through it. I did manage to retap the holes. So. Alright guys, I guess that's it. I will try to do another video in my process of getting this horn ready to blow. Thanks for watching, guys.